Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We are back again with another Joe Blaster. If you guys know, we've been on like a Joe Blaster kick for probably the last couple months. You guys can check out some of them here. And this particular M41A, this is version 8 of this blaster. If you guys remember, we did a review on Ants Toys AK. This thing is nuts. Now, I know it looks a little bit different. We cut the stock and we lightened it up. Um, but this thing was absolutely insane. The rate of speed, the value that we got from it, and just, just the feel. I was like, man, this thing is incredible. I shot probably about 50,000 rounds through this bad boy, and it is still kicking, and it is still one of my favorite things to shoot nowadays. But when Anne's Toy reached out to us and said, hey, do you want to do a review on our M4A1? I was like, uh, yeah, because that AK is an absolute beast. And when I looked at this thing, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is insane itself. If it was anything like the AK right here, you guys know, it was it was one of my favorite things to shoot over the summer because, right, I like paintballing. Well, I used to like paintballing. I still do, but it was just so pricey, and I still wanted to get kind of that gel ball shooting experience. And once all these gel you know, blasters started coming, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Now, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. We like shooting the small ones too. These are still great, but I feel like, you know, with these larger ones, for me, this is where it's at the rate of speed, as well as you get that distance and performance over some of the smaller blasters, these things just hands down beat it. Now, I mean, I know you guys are looking at that thinking, man, that is no joke. And you know, the thing is, it's not too heavy, so it's not, you know, overly heavy. The AK did have a little bit of weight to it, but I took out the little uh, two weights in the front and the rear, and now it's super light, so it's much easier to shoot. But man, look at this thing. I can't stress enough, guys. Oh man, the feel of this, just feels so so good so let's just hop right in here and let's take a look at the box look at the box looks really cool you open that thing up everything is nicely packed in there packed in there now you get everything you need in here you get the blaster you get the red dot scope you get you know balls you get the charger the battery you get everything you need right in the box it was very similar again to the ak which i thought was awesome so you don't have to buy additional batteries or anything like that now the first thing about these things is yes the gel balls Mine came with probably about 20,000. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Oh, I gotta keep buying gel balls. But these things, man, I'm telling you, you buy like 20,000 or 40,000 for 10 bucks, you guys are shooting for a long time. If you guys shoot 10,000 in a day, I will, that, I'll give you props. That is a lot of shots. I shot about 5,000 in a day and I'm like, what can I shoot? I've shot everything in my black backyard. I feel like I've shot in every you know blade of grass, you name it. So. Just kind of keep that in mind that 10,000 rounds goes a very, very, very long way and for super cheap. If you compare that to paintball, you guys already know, that's at least a couple hundred dollars in paintballs comparison to just a few bucks in these little, you know, these little gel packets. Making them is super easy. One of the things though, is they do give you kind of a bottle here. So you can pour a bunch of these in here, put them in the bottle, you know, do it up and just leave them in here and be good. But you know me, I like to shoot thousands at a time. So you guys could check it out here. I just put a whole bunch inside kind of my favorite container and just let them soak. Now, the biggest thing here, guys, is let it soak for about four hours. I have done it where I've tried shooting it after two or three and the, and the gel balls just aren't quite big enough. I mean, they work, but you will notice a uh, kind of better performance, uh, better accuracy, all of that when you let them sit for around four hours. Now, there is instructions with it. You guys can check them out here. All these instructions kind of go over everything about the blaster, right? It's pretty straightforward to use, but it is something that you maybe want to look at if like this gel blaster is one of your first larger gel blasters, because you want to make sure you take care of this thing. This thing is uh, it's a piece of work, so you just want to make sure it's it's pretty good. So the scope or the red dot up here, friggin' awesome. The thing comes apart. You can put it on there. You don't have to use it. Yes, it does light up, which is awesome. Yes, it does come with batteries in the package when you're ready to go, but you don't have to use it. I mean, if you want to use your own red dot scope or another scope, whatever, that is perfectly fine. I thought it looked really cool. The stock is freaking awesome. I love it because I love it because it has so many adjustability options, right? Uh, depending on your personal preference, you could slide it to adjust it to long, short, whatever your thing is. I like this because you're not stuck with a blaster that may be too short or too long for your type of, you know, your type of blasting. So I do like that. Now, one of the things that's awesome about some of these bigger gel blasters is, well, for this, it has that magazine, right? Check it out. Looks good. It feels good. Has that grippy material on there. Loading it is super easy. Just got kind of that little, you know, little door. You pop it back, dump about, I don't know, it probably holds about 100 to 150, somewhere right in there. Now, if you look on the top, 
there is these two kind of contacts. And those two contacts actually use the battery power from the blaster to rotate a little small kind of cylinder on the bottom or kind of paddle on the bottom of the magazine. So this way, when you load it up with 100, you can just blast off all 100 because that little piece on the bottom is moving and rotating more rounds up into the blaster. This way you're not shaking it or you have to roll anything like airsoft. You can pretty much hold the trigger and it just feeds them all right in there. I was like, oh man, that's that's awesome. Instead of you know doing like 20 on like airsoft or 50, shooting and then you gotta roll that bottom again. This, it's all built in. Now the battery does go right here in the back. You just slide it in. It does again come along with the battery and charger in itself. You can throw it right on USB. There's a little light that just shines up right there so you guys kind of know when it's done or when it's charging. And I shot, I don't know, about 4,000, 4,500 rounds through this in the battery seemed to be pretty good. So I was like, okay, and I didn't even charge it all the way. But let's just hop right in and let's take a look at me shooting this thing. I know it's a little bit dark outside, but the biggest thing here, guys, is just listen to that thing hit. This thing shoots hard. Uh, you shoot this at anybody or anything, man, just, just be careful. I would shoot it at non-livable objects, <laughs> right? But I'm about, I don't know what, uh, about 25 feet away right here. And look at this. I mean, I'm, I'm nailing that thing. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to miss, but still, you can hear the rate of fire. It's probably about seven-ish, six to seven a second. I do feel like the AK had a little bit higher, faster rate of, of, of fire, but it could just be me. But still, you can hear that thing, whap, 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 just hitting, 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 hitting in the feel. Again, the feel of this thing, guys, feels so good in the hands. Now, I'm gonna back it up here. We're gonna go to about, about 40 feet here, maybe a little more. And I had no problem. I mean, I had no problem hitting that bucket all day long. So if that was your target, I mean, you are gonna straight just laser that thing with this particular blaster. I mean, just listen to that. Oh man, <laughs> it is so, so good. Now, again, you know, this particular blaster, guys, if you look at it just up close, just look at that. It looks so good. I cannot stress enough how much I love the look of this blaster, right, and the functionality of it. It's just, it's kind of what I wanted out of uh, kind of a gel blaster. Before, again, I had to kind of live with the AK, which don't get me wrong, again, this AK was so good. It is, it, I mean, it's still so good, but when I saw this, I was like, oh man, yeah, let's just do this and let's fire this thing, and it is just, you know, the rate of speed and everything for me was pretty freaking awesome. Now, overall, guys, again, you know, I'm not gonna, do a 30 minute video on this gel blaster. You guys know about these things, they rock. The small ones, the tiny little gel blasters, sure, they are great. But if you really wanna step up your game to like the next level, whew, you get one of these bad boys because, man, and I think of the mod ability of what people can do, but out of the box, dude, this thing just, you put the gel ball, you put the gel balls inside the thing, you wait a few hours, you charge your battery, you go in your backyard, and you could shoot all day for pennies on the dollar in comparison to, you know, paintball and, and all those, but man, I just, I can't get over how this thing looks. I mean, again, look at the AK. Again, with the cut stock, I get it. But look at this. I mean, that is so good. But this, oh man, just so, so good. Anyways, this thing rocks. Uh, I would say if you guys can get one, pick one up. I do, again, thank Anne's Toy for sending this over for their, for me just doing their, you know, an unbiased review. I mean, if this thing was bad, guys, I would tell you. But you know me, I get amped every time I shoot something that I'm like, my gosh. This thing just freaking flat, just freaking rocks. I love it. But sometimes you get it, right? I get stuff that's bad and I just don't like it. And I will tell you guys if it's bad. But this thing, no. The the blasters that I've been sent from Ant's Toy, I mean, you know, they're, they've been good. And, and I put them through a lot of rounds. I put probably about about 9,000 rounds through this particular blaster right now, maybe eight, somewhere right in there. And it's been, sh it's sh been shooting great, right? It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And I'm like, come on. I mean, I've shot 8,000 rounds. And then again, this particular, uh, the, the AK, I mean, this, I don't even know, maybe 30,000? I don't so, I mean, it's so many that I lose track because you could just rip off, you know, 150 shots out of this thing and you're just like, okay, let's dump more in there. Let's dump more in there. But either way, guys, I love the, uh, the blasters from Antoy. I think they rock. This M4, yeah, is just, is just legit. It is just legit. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Definitely leave it down in the comments. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox fans.